when it got daylight, there was a couple deers in the field, and I look over to the feeder, and there stands my buck. And uh, when he presented a broadside shot, that's when I opened the window and took a shot off. Well, we figured just by where he ended up being, you know, we might be able to tell if he lays right there. We wanted to avoid pushing him out if he wasn't dead. He shot him this morning. He's not sure. He just doesn't know what shot he has. They walked about 100 yards, found the first blood. Well, I knew about Mike through my buddy Jared and Ben. My brother Ben knew Mike too, and I was actually thinking about calling Ben to ask him if he doesn't want to call Mike. And wouldn't you know, Ben called me before I called him and asked me if I, like we should actually get a drone in here to look for him. That way we don't have to stomp around and mess everything up. Yeah. And that's why we called Mike. Oh. It was insane. I mean, when he set that thing up and just yeah. The first time he flew it up in the air and the pictures that he, that we could see was amazing. Like, I was blown away. We found that buck right away laying yeah. back there below, like, right where we thought my buck should have been. Mm. I wanted to find him dead, but he was still alive. So, yeah, I mean, I was still pumped about it because we knew he was here. And Mike came through for us in that way, in a big way. I feel so good. Now we know he's still alive and we didn't push him out of here. You, you found him, one. Mike. You found uh -huh. him. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! You found him. Like, it was an adrenaline rush right, right when we found him there. Like, you could feel it in all of us. He's Hustle Banker, right? Yep, that's him. That was insane. Like, that just blew me away. Yeah. Next time, if I get a chance, we're going to kill him. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah.